Old Harrow Municipal Hall was a project of Don Demetrio Ledesma, the Presidente Municipal of Harrow. When it was all separate from Iloilo City, Harrow was officially a city as far back as 1886. In 1925, Don Ledesma had the Grand Plaza built across the cathedral and the Archbishop's Palace with a bandstand near the proud bell tower. All his beloved city center lack was a fitting house for the seat of government, a dream of which Ledesma persistently labored since 1927. So in 1933, the building was under construction and was completed in 1934. Its architect was the famed Juan Arellano. The monolithic landmark was made distinctive and fashionable by stretching the vertical and horizontal lines on its facade and applying basic art deco embellishments, step cigarette like forms, grill work, and molded panels with geometric starburst patterns, curves, and coils. With a footprint of less than 100 square meters, the building is small but its proportions are dignified. As a municipal hall, it certainly outshone its counterparts across the length and breadth of the country. Although the two-story concrete structure is conceptually rudimentary and probably accomplished on a tight budget, it was a sight to behold after it was finished. However, three years after Ledesma and his staff moved into the new building, the town of Haro was integrated to Iloilo City. In 1937, along with the towns of Molo, Manduriao, La Paz, and Villa de Arevalo. After the center of political power shifted to Iloilo City, and Haro's municipal needs could no longer be served within the building's walls, it was used as Haro's police headquarters instead. In time, the Haro Health Center and Haro Fire Station would take up residence beside the Grand Little Building. Aureliano's Art Deco gem stood up well to over eight decades of use and cursory efforts at maintenance. Iloilo City Lone District Representative Jerry Trenas authored the Republic Act 1055 which declared historic sites in the city, which includes the former municipal hall as part of a cultural heritage tourism zone. In 2014, the Iloilo City Council approved an ordinance that donated the building to the National Museum of the Philippines so that the organization can use the building as a regional office. Restoration works was done on the building, which costed around 20 million pesos. After the rehabilitation efforts was completed, the National Museum declared the site as an important cultural property on February 17, 2017. The same year, the National Museum moved to the building and established a satellite office for Region 6. The National Museum also uses the building as a site for its training, conferences, seminars, and other services. So even today, people can still gaze and admire this beautiful historical building. So that's it for the old Haro Municipal Hall. Until next time, bye! So guys, if you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel and feel free to comment. Hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell, hit the bell.